Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. Now let's get straight to the story. Now, last night, NVIDIA showed us the 3080 Ti. Now this one has been leaking for quite a while. The only thing we didn't know is when exactly we're going to get it. And that problem has been solved. But actually, that problem hasn't really been solved because... Trying to get your hands on one is going to be, hmm, impossible because these things don't last in the market at all. They don't last because the scalpers and everybody else is just, the bots just eat them all up. Any new tech that comes out, it's gone before, as soon as it hits in the market. Like right now I'm shopping for a new 4K monitor and that one is sold out. And it, when it was available, it was gone just like that, which is insane. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and cover the article. Well, we're just going to do, we're going to pretty much, it's the same thing as the 3090. Um, the form factor is the same. I'm assuming they're using the same cooler. Um, they should have definitely updated to a bigger cooler, especially this. Um, it's pretty much 1.5 times better or better performance wise than the um, 3080s, I guess. But they do whatever they want to do, you know? But expect the uh, third party cards to be much better, which they usually are. Um, and the prices will be. Yep. It's going to be up there. Prepare. Make sure you get some lube and get ready. You know what time it is. All right, so here we are. We are at The Verge because I like that they compare everything together. So here is the two cards. Now, for me, um, if you were in the market and you haven't bought any graphics card yet and th these prices were actually legit prices, if you were going to get the 3080 Ti, you might as well shell out the extra $300 and just get yourself a 3090 and be done with it. You know, even though you might not need that kind of performance from the 3090, I would still rather purchase that 3090, at least give myself some time because graphic cards are literally getting updated. Like every time you, you blink your damn eyes, there's another one in the market. So the 3090 is li literally the cream of the crop, the best of the best. Technically, it's supposed to be um, definitely if these prices were actually true, I would definitely buy the 3090 over the 3080 ti um but performance wise they're very very close to each other the 3090 obviously that's their top tier card and it's a little bit more powerful than the 3080 ti got twice the amount of memory um but that's just me trying to sell you on the 3090 because to me if these were actual prices but the problem is these aren't actual prices because graphic cards their prices have risen up since um uh, everything that's going on obviously and the fact that companies can't get their hands on those chips to make more graphics card so that has a lot of things to do with it and the fact that the demands are so fucking high that you can't even see these things in stock literally like as soon as you see it in stock it's gone like seconds later like um, for a classic example, um, the AMD 5950, um, I have a notification. It pops up. I click it. As soon as I get there, notify. It's already gone. Sold out. So anyway. Okay. So I'm back after I opened up some more stuff. So anyway, the 3080 Ti is priced at $1,199 and launching June 3rd. So prepare for that stuff to get, you know, disappear within no time at all. NVIDIA, NVIDIA is unveiling its flagship gaming GPU today, the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, or should I say 3080 Ti, based on NVIDIA's latest Ampere architecture. The RTX 3080 Ti will succeed RTX 3080 and promise to deliver 1.5 times more performance over the previous generation's RTX 30, uh, 2080 Ti. NVIDIA is making the RTX 30 Ti, 3080 Ti, Ti, available worldwide on June 3rd, priced at 
The 3080 Ti looks very much like RTX 3080 with identical design and ports. The main difference is jump in power and VRAM. The RTX 3080 Ti ships with more VRAM than the RTX 3080 with 12 gigabyte of GDDR six times in total. The new GPU is essentially as close as you can get to an RTX 3080 on paper with half the VRAM. The 1199 price matches the same pricing NVIDIA used for the RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition, and it's $300 less than the 3080. But what I'm saying to you is, guys, if you manage to see, hypothetically speaking, you have a 3080 Ti that's in stock, hypothetically, um, and then you have a 3080 Ti, just get the 3090. I'm telling you right now, just get the 3090 if you're able to find yourself a founder's edition because for some reason the founder's edition is the only card that has not been affected by the um by the price jump but let's just look at the price jump right now these are just the uh, third party companies making their own cards you have the MSI RTX 3080 Ventus three times that one is $1069 and then you have the 3080 XCC from EVGA, that one is 850 bucks. That's not bad. And then you have the Gigabit version, RTX 3080, that's 1099. So, as well as the ASUS 1099, the only one that hasn't changed in price is the Founders Edition. So, we, if you're able to find yourself a Founders Edition 3090, I suggest you, you get that one instead. All right. Oh, shit. And they have the 3080 Ti listed already for 1199. But, uh, and then you have, this is not a bad price either for um, a 3090, I'm sorry, for 3080. And then if you, if we were looking at the uh, the 3090s, this is the price for it. 2199 for the RTX 3090, Astri Asus Asterix. I actually wanted to get that one, but it was gone. Um, I think this is the one that I actually no, this is not the one I got. The one I got was for eighteen ninety nine. I think this is the one I got, eighteen sixty nine. So as you can see, these prices are way more than what the suggested retail price is from the manufacturer, from like, from um, from Nvidia themselves. Nvidia tends to have their prices lower comparing to third parties because third parties usually overclock their cards or do other things to, you know, to boost up their cards comparing to the manufacturer which is intended to have certain specs. Sometimes third party companies go a little bit above what the specs are so they can charge you more money obviously, but give you more performance too. So anyway, my thing is here um, like I said before, if you're able to get a Founders Edition and you found one of each of any of these two cards right here, I suggest just going ahead and just purchasing a 3090 because the performance is very uh, minor from the 3080 and the 30, um, the 3080 to the 3090, and you'll definitely get your money's worth. Um, the 3090 will destroy any game that I through at it and still getting like a solid performance even though i was running like 4k i was still getting a solid 60 i'm sorry like 70 to 80 frames per second on call of duty cold war so it's a very very solid card if you're able to get one if you're able to get one for a reasonable price i suggest you go that route but um but for the 3080 ti or the 3080 tie I want to say that the price is going to be a little bit increase. It's going to be in between this one and the 3090. So you're going to have your 3080 right here, right? Which is also a thousand, hypothetically speaking, let's just say we're buying from M MSI. It's a thousand sixty nine. And then you're going to have um, your 3080 Ti is going to be either at around 1300 or 1400 I do believe it will be around $1,400. That's a lot of money. $1,400 for a 3080 Ti. But I, I'm just assuming here. But the prices are going to be pretty insane from third-party companies. Um, if I had to guess for EVGA, it would be around 1000 something for the lowest versions, but if you're getting like the FTW, you're looking around almost a thousand and I'm sorry, like you're looking at 
I don't know, twelve hundred, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars um, for Asus, about the same price as the um, as the other one, fourteen hundred or thirteen hundred dollars. Um, that's why I say it, it's better for you to just go for the Founders Edition with uh, um, with the thirty ninety if you're able to get one because you're not gonna the prices are gonna be insane for the performance that they're offering from factory. It's just a smart thing for you to do. <laughs> but yeah, um, I enjoyed the presentation, and I just wish that um, that NVIDIA would just stop making new products and focus on trying to meet demand for uh, for the graphics card that people are trying to get. Meet the demand first before you start rolling out new product. You know what I mean? Because it makes absolutely no sense that we can't get any of this new or previous product because it's sold out obviously it's selling like gangbusters why are you going to introduce new product that's going to have the same fucking issue as your last product that you can't even meet the demand for this makes absolutely no sense at all i mean what are they thinking i digress but you know it, it's to me it, it's just silly to introduce something that you know people are not going to be able to get their hands on while you're still not meeting demand of the previous version of it like you can't get a 3080 ti you can't get a 3070 you can't get a 3060 you can't get 3050 you can't even get 2080s anymore because the graphic problem is so insane so if i was that company i would ramp up the production for 3080s and try to meet that demand first and then once it's been out for a little bit and people actually got their hands on it and everybody can get it then i would introduce a new product to make it even better than the last one but hey that's just me what do i know about business i'm just a consumer and i know nothing maybe they know what the fuck they're doing but in my eyes I'm, i feel like they should meet the demand first and then introduce a new product instead of kind of like <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's using a different chipset and that's why they're introducing this, but I don't think so. I think it's pretty much just similar to the 3080. They're probably using even the same cases and everything, enclosure, everything the same, same cooler, but even though it's giving you a little bit more performance, they should have um, given it a different cooler or a bigger fan or something like that. I don't know. We won't really know until somebody opens up a 3080 and a 3080 ti and compare the two and see what's inside anyway if you made it this far along this long ass video holy shit thank you very much i appreciate your support that means you are a die hard fan of me and i appreciate that give yourself a thumbs up and i'll give you one too thumbs up if you made it this far let me know or put it in the comments if you actually made it this far that's that's crazy <laughs> anyway have a lovely day. Thank you for watching the video.